Once a new project has been created, the first step is to create a new well design by clicking on the wellbore icon on the bottom and then dragging and dropping it onto your desktop. At this point, two options are displayed. The system will either create a default wellbore, which includes 18 and 5 8, 13 and 3 8, 9 and 5 8 casing, and a 7 inch liner, as is common in many ERD wells, or no wellbore will be created and you'll be left to your own devices to use whatever hole sizes and casing geometries you prefer. Either option is perfectly acceptable. I like the default wellbore because it already gives me casing and hole sizes that are probably going to be used anyway. You'll then be asked to enter in a name for your well design, and usually this is the base case is what we're starting with. Multiple permutations and iterations may follow after the base case, but the starting point is usually some basic notion of what the well will look like. After clicking OK, the well design is now created. Before going in and looking at the analysis of that base case design, we should go through some of the tools that are available to you on the desktop. You notice on the very bottom of the page there's a sticky note and an arrow. The sticky note is also used by dragging and dropping onto the desktop, and the idea is, is that you can enter in different details about each one of the well designs on the desktop. So for example, perhaps this is a build and hold well, and maybe I want to enter in some basic information to remind myself that I was using 5 inch drill pipe for all of the hole sections. Or Perhaps this was a standard casing architecture. That way I've kind of left myself some breadcrumbs and a reminder of what exactly is contained within this particular base case design. Now as I start to go through the design process and try different casing designs, drill strings, rigs, etc., I can do that quite simply by right clicking on this thumbnail and copying the design to be later pasted by also right-clicking elsewhere on the desktop. All the attributes of my original base case design have now been duplicated and applied to this thumbnail. And I can connect the two with an arrow as a bit of a reminder of how I got from one well design to another. For example, this might be a well design, and by right-clicking I can rename it, where I tried a different trajectory. And again I could remind myself with a little bit more detail by using the notes what exactly that means. Now from there it's really up to the user's imagination how you want to connect different well designs and the thought process and flow throughout the desktop. There's a lot of flexibility associated with these tools. You're really left to your own devices how you choose to use them. If at some point I decide that one of these well designs or perhaps the notes is no longer useful or pertinent, I can just drag and drop directly over to the trash bin so that I don't have a cluttered up desktop. Now just like in Windows, in order to en empty the wastebasket, you need to right click and then it'll give you the opportunity to empty the wastebasket. A few other things that may be of interest on the project desktop. If I had a lot of well designs spread out across the desktop, in the lower right hand corner you can see where we are located on the desktop by clicking on this red box and dragging around the screen. Right now, we're centered in the middle of the desktop, and that happens to be where my well design is. A few of the other tools that might be useful, properties. This is where you would change the paper size. If you happen to be working or living in a country or making reports in a country where A4 is a more common size, this is where you would manipulate the paper orientation so that your plots will fit per perfectly on an A4 page as opposed to a letter page. This is also where you can alter the primary and secondary units that are on your plots. To change the units, you simply click on the drop-down menu, which gives you all the different options for any particular type of unit that you choose to change. For example, if I'm working in weight units of tons instead of kips, 
then I can make that change here. And you can also make that change anywhere in the program, but this is the location where all units can be manip manipulated at one time. If I want to show dual units for every plot that has weight as the unit, I can make that change here. And now all plots will show both tons and kips on the x-axis. If I wish to just go back to standard, I can also do that at any point. Info just displays some information about the software. Fine print, if you will. And registration, I think in an earlier video we showed you that this is where you can manually register your software. And this concludes the project desktop demonstration.